Haven't started off the vlog yet today. I just filmed an outfit of the day for TikTok. Been posting a lot on TikTok, honestly. I kind of laid low this morning and now it's the afternoon. It's like the first weekend in a couple weeks where we didn't have any plans. So I definitely took advantage, had like a self-care morning, did my red light, my new face, my skincare, just kind of chilled, hung out, watched YouTube, finally got ready. And I'm obsessed with yellow recently. I want every article of yellow clothing. I've had this for a couple months now. I think I got it last year from Princess Polly. I love this yellow top and I'm just wearing it with some sweatpants because it's overcast rainy outside. And these are the Aritzia TNA Mega Fit. They're the Terry Fleece style. So they're a little bit lighter weight for spring and summer. But I mean, let's be honest, sweatpants are still pretty warm and of course some socks but i just wanted to go ahead and start off this vlog welcome you back to another video my name is lauren if you're new here definitely subscribe i post videos every single week but i think i'm gonna make a smoothie for like a little snack slash lunch you can't hear my laundry going in the washing machine but i placed an amazon order i did get this cup a new simple modern color i have the navy blue color and i love it so much that i wanted to get this fun pink color it's like lighter than the stanley the stanley is so heavy this one's a little bit lighter so that's why i like this cup and i love the color and i love how it's all one color they have so many fun colors they have like orange and green, yellows. They have like nude colors as well and black and all those, but I really liked the pink one. So I placed an Amazon order. I'm like the strangest person when it comes to pillows. I have one of those pillows right now that I've had for a couple of years now. It's just starting to like wear. It literally has a neck indention on it and it's all foam. And I'm a back sleeper. I sleep like I am sleeping in a coffin i don't really move i'll occasionally sleep on my side but a majority of the time i prefer sleeping on my back so i fall asleep back sleeping is how i mainly sleep so i got a new set of pillows because the pillow that i i went through like a whole thing like two or three years ago with pillows i think it was two years ago two and a half where i couldn't find a good pillow at all and i ended up keeping the pillow but i slowly started to hate the pillow that i got it was like the casper pillow i don't love it so i went back to like my foam pillow that i had the only thing that i don't like about the foam pillow that i had with like the neck indention is that if you do move around a little bit while you sleep which occasionally i do it's not comfortable anywhere else unless you have your neck like specifically in that one spot so i just was starting to get sick of that so i went on amazon and i found some new pillows i got the king size these are foam pillows so they're memory foam on the inside it comes in a pack of two and it comes basically like this and it expands to this and this isn't even the full capacity i took out some foam because i slept on it last night just to see if i would like it and that's why i haven't unwrapped this one so i slept on it last night to see if i would like it and it's just so high up and like i took a ton out like i had to throw some away i kept a ton in this bag and i don't even know if it's worth keeping um i just didn't want to throw it all away but i feel like i still need to take some more out unless your head weighs um 200 pounds you are not going to sink into this pillow i just need the support on my neck and my head i don't like pillows that have feathers in them i don't know i'm really picky with pillows but i'm also a nut job when it comes to pillows because like who likes sleeping on something like this me 
So I'm gonna take out some, I'm washing my bed sheets. They're also on my coffee table. I'm so sorry if that just moved, but I need to take more of this foam out because my head simply does not weigh enough to weigh this down. And it literally is just like a bunch of blue foam pieces. I mean, if you're interested, my friend Maya made me feel a little bit better about my purchase. She sleeps on a foam pillow too. So I didn't feel like such a crazy person, but this is like so nice and supportive and one side is cooling and the other side is not. Like realistically, I don't know why I'm keeping this. I don't know if there's a better way to dispose of foam, but I just am throwing it away because it's so packed full and it's almost like they keep expanding. It's kind of crazy. It's like when I take some out, it's almost like it doesn't go anywhere. There's still so much in here. I feel like the highlight of adulthood is getting new pillows. Okay, I feel like that's better. Now I'm gonna unpackage this one. Because it comes in a pack of two, which I think is great. It's already expanded so much. I'm excited. I mean, there's nothing like having some great pillows where you get like pop tier nights of sleep, but I'm still gonna hang on to this. I don't know why. I just feel weird like throwing it all away just in case I want it. But, so I'm gonna let this expand. I'm excited to sleep on it again tonight without having like all the extra foam in it and see how it is. But yeah. This is what life has come to, sharing pillows on my channel. I'm switching out my soap dispenser. I had to get a new one of these because this one broke and this one's in our kitchen, which is what we use the most. And for some reason, the soap doesn't really come out of it anymore. So I got a new one. This is the style that I have in all of our bathrooms. It's from Target. It's like a nice stone looking one. So I'm just gonna transfer all the soap into the new one. This will be so nice. It's been such a pain having like this soap dispenser with soap that doesn't really come out. And it's been kind of not doing well for a couple weeks now, so it's gonna be nice finally having a new one. It's the little things, right? Okay, we're just gonna leave that on top. It's later, we just made dinner wanted to show you guys a realistic dinner that I make when I'm like by myself and I don't want to go out spend money on food. This is what I typically would make. I always have this stuff in my freezer. So it's just meatballs and then this Trader Joe's rice cauliflower stir fry. And then I did a whole bag of edamame. This has great protein. Such a great way to get extra protein. It has 17 grams per bag. Edamame is so good. So great high protein meal. And then I add this Japanese barbecue sauce on top and it is so good. You can even add avocado, whatever you want. I think I'm gonna add some sesame seeds. And this is the big container of the Japanese barbecue sauce that I got from Costco. And then I just drizzle it on top, just a little bit. And that's a realistic dinner that I eat. It's really, really good. I have a poppy basically every single day with my lunch. It's my favorite part of my day. I love the Doc Pop. The Doc Pop one is by far my absolute favorite and I love how it has green tea in it so it kind of gives you a little caffeine pick-me-up in the afternoon. So that's my favorite flavor. I just recently got the lemon lime flavor. This is probably the only flavor that actually tastes like the soda that it's mimicking. It truly tastes like a Sprite, but almost better in a way. So probably lemon lime and Doc Pop are my two favorites, truly. I love drinking poppies out of the double insulated cups just so there's no like sweating of the cup. And I also love drinking coffee out of them. Anything that keeps the, the coffee or the drink from sweating more is like my favorite cup. And I got these off Amazon. I'm gonna sit on the couch, drink this.
Cinco de Mayo and I'm getting ready. We're gonna go get some Mexican food. I'm really excited. But this blush, you're supposed to use the powder first and then go in with the cream. So I'm just putting a little because it's so, it picks up so well on my skin. And I got this two weeks ago for my engagement photos. I wanted like a new blush. And honestly, what got me wanting to get this blush was the TikTok filter of all the different Patrick Ta blushes. I've been eyeing this one for a little bit and I kind of like filtered it onto my face and I liked the color. It's in She's That Girl, but you're supposed to go in with the powder and then go over it with the cream side, which I find so interesting. I didn't do that last weekend when I found out and I love, my face is long, so I, I just do this from my face shape. I prefer to bring the blush all the way up to my temple. I feel like it gives it more of like a lifted look. So we're getting ready. We're gonna go to this Mexican place that we haven't tried before. Hopefully it's not too busy, but it's called Anejo. And it's kind of like an agave, which we've been there a ton. Agave is probably one of our favorites. But it's gonna be nice. Krish and I went to dinner like months and months and months ago, honestly, probably over a year ago, right next door to it. And we were like, oh, I wanna try it. And since it's Cinco, that would be the perfect restaurant to go to and try, even though it's probably gonna be packed. We're going there around 12.30, it's 11.48. I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna wear. Oh, my battery light is flashing at me. I'm gonna finish getting ready, get dressed, and I'll show you my outfit before we leave. I feel like this dress definitely makes me look short. I'm wearing this dress from Zara for Mexican food. I got it two summers ago, so I don't think it's still available. I love dresses like this for summer. Then I'm wearing just my tiki's. I'm wearing a fun hand chain and then some chunky gold hoops. And I'm bringing this bag. And this is the fit for lots of tacos and margaritas. Mm -hmm. 